today marks four weeks out. We are starting it outside, getting some natural light. The puppies are playing in the backyard. Floof just found a really good stick that he wants dude to be involved in. Um, and I'm feeling good. I am feeling ready. Not ready yet, but knowing that I will be ready. I did wake up today quite watery. So in between my muscles and my skin, there's like this layer of water where my fingers feel swollen. Uh, my whoop band was leaving a, march, a much darker um, line in my body. And if I like touch my stomach, it kind of jiggles like a water balloon and then goes right back. I know it's temporary. I'm not sure what has caused it, whether it's the lower sleep or one of the healthier new foods that I tried to introduce, such as the turkey sausages that have spices in them. Um, not sure, but I know that the solution to pollution is dilution. So I'm just going to be drinking a ton of water the next couple of days to try and help flush that out and focus on what I do have control over, which is honoring my nutrition, training hard, getting my cardio in and trying to get some adequate sleep as well. Sunday is here. 27 days to go. I am going to be doing my lower body training session today and then of course some cardio afterwards. One of the things that I've really noticed the past couple of days is I'm not able to perform in my training sessions the way that I could previously. I'm getting lightheaded in between my sets, my ears are ringing and all of that putting the symptoms together. Uh, I think my iron is getting high again. So for those of you who are new to this series, I've mentioned in previous videos, I have a genetic condition called hemochromatosis and that is the opposite of iron deficiency anemia where I actually have too much iron that builds up in my system and the only way for me to uh, recover from it is to get blood out of my body. So every 12 weeks I donate blood and my last blood donation was about eight weeks ago, which means I have four weeks to go. And typically this is where my iron levels start to increase to the point where it's affecting how I feel in my day-to-day -day life. And unfortunately my next available time to donate blood where they let me donate is four days after my competition. So what I have gone and done is reached out to a physician to request literally as much blood work as I can just to get some blood out of my body. Plus I'm going to get my Alcat food sensitivity test done. So I should be getting those results uh, the end of March so that in my peak week, essentially I'll know exactly what foods to put in my body, what foods not to put in my body so that there is minimal stress possible. I did get my Alcat test, uh, blood work done in the end of December. However, there was a snowstorm and the sample was no longer viable when it got to the lab. So I actually held on to the kit knowing that I would have to save it for when my iron was increasing. So we've got some blood work on Tuesday and for now we just show up and we give what we can based on how we're feeling. Probably won't push the weights. I actually have a little bit of a headache today. So going to focus on tempo, technique, and taking my sets to failure, but potentially not hitting any personal bests, and I'm okay with that. A picturesque morning with the two cutest polar bears playing with a stick. Let operation get more blood out of me commence. Are you someone who gets either lightheaded or passes out with blood work? If so, one of the things that I started doing six months ago when I go in is asking for a lay down bed and asking for a butterfly needle. No issues since. So hopefully that tip helps for someone. I do have to train today. However, you're not supposed to lift for two to four hours. So it's going to be a later in the day lift and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna eat because I had to be fasted, so I'm really hungry right now, and then do a little bit of work and I'll hit the gym later. One of the only people I will get up at 6.30 in the morning for, it's massage day. Got home from that massage and immediately came into the hot tub. Uh, the shawl spent half of the time beating up my glutes. I'm talking like elbows into them, breathing. There was a lot of F-bombs dropped um, just because they're really, really tight with the amount of posing that I'm doing now. And 
when you're this close to the competition, now that you can really see your shape because things have leaned out, it's all the little details of like hike your hip up as hard as you can, which is putting extra strain on those muscles. Everything else is doing really good, but like my glutes are sore. Plus coming out into the hot tub as part of my morning routine, definitely did not do that when I woke up this morning. So the puppies are getting their outside time and I'm gonna eat a meal, do some client check-ins, go for a walk, go to the gym, same stuff, just shifted a little bit in my day. You know, it's a good cardio session when your hair looks like this, and it also looks like you peed yourself. That is swass, ass sweat, even though it's crotch, but we call it swass at Lady the Up. No, you're not having any of my personal <laughs> workout chicken. You're very cute, but it's my chicken and potatoes. Today is Thursday. We are out for an afternoon walk. This morning I woke up, did some cardio, but it was a non-training day because uh, yesterday I had massage and then today I also had some Cairo. So we did some stimulated acupuncture in my shoulder blades to get to the tight muscles and stuff that elbows and fingers can't because it's just so deep into the muscles. This morning I woke up with a really special message from Hattie. Wednesday evenings, I rent my dance studio for an hour before my two hour dance class to practice my posing. So yesterday, because the show was getting so close, I broke out my evening gown that I haven't put on in a while since I ordered it a couple of months ago. And I compete in the WBFF, the World Beauty, Fashion and Fitness. Uh, so there is a big fashion aspect of it for wellness. One of the categories that I'm competing in, you have your bikini round and then you have your couture evening gown. And, uh, this is what she had to say. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is fucking brilliant. That is beautiful. You look insane. Holy shit. Now I'm not going to show you what it looks like. That would obviously ruin the surprise, but let's just say it gives off fit Cinderella vibes and I feel like a princess. As of tomorrow, we are three weeks out. Uh, I did a lower body training session today on my way back from Hammer Fitness HQ because we did our 60 day winners announcement and I surprised myself with what I was able to do today. However, training wrecked me. So I'm gonna go home, eat a meal and do cardio at home instead can't really say that I want to do cardio at home on a Friday night, uh, but I know that I'm gonna get more out of it once I am better fed, because I only brought a small amount of food for the trip down to Toronto and back. Overall, I'm feeling good, and people are starting to compliment more on seeing changes in my physique. At this point, we are starting to play around with different types of peak protocols because we are three weeks away. So right now I'm doing four lower carb days back to back, followed by three higher carb days. I am on day three of low carb. So we're gonna see if this is the strategy we use, but we're also going to test different things in future weeks. 